Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Rolene Marks, bringing you today's top stories. And in the early hours of this morning, the IDF raided or conducted raids in the West Bank and arrested senior Hamas official Hassan Youssef, who was wanted for terrorist activities and at least 12 other suspects. Clashes broke out between IDF soldiers and Palestinians, and one Palestinian was killed and at least three others injured. Now, we've been talking a lot over the last couple of weeks about Hamas, about the tension that has escalated between Israel and Hamas, who control the Gaza Strip. And last week was particularly tense with the rockets that were Uh, launched into Israel, as well as the proposed million man's uh, march on the border with Gaza. Uh, That would have happened on Saturday. Uh, It resulted in at least 40,000 people protesting, and the protest was relatively peaceful compared to protests in the past, because it could have really, really uh, disintegrated into chaos. Now, rumors... uh, Uh, were all around the Palestinian media today who said that Hamas, through their indirect talks with Israel, were discussing a potential prisoner swap. The issue of uh, swapping prisoners who are in uh, maximum security jails is an issue for Hamas. And while Israel is not commenting or rather remaining mum on uh, what is uh, being discussed, the aim of the truce, at least from Hamas's side, is uh, not for a long-term ceasefire, but rather to bolster the truce that has been in place since the end of 2014's Operation Protective Edge or Miftsa Tsuketan. Uh, on Israel's side, Israel is giving very, very little uh, information uh, away about these indirect talks, but have stated that the return of the bodies of two soldiers, Hadar Golden and Oron Shaul of blessed memory, uh, who fell during 2014's operation in Gaza, the return of their bodies is extremely important so that they can come home to their families and be buried with dignity, as well as two civilians who are being held captive by Hamas. This is going to be one of the criteria that uh, uh, any discussions with Hamas uh, is going to contain, at least from Israel's side. And moving to more positive news, and Israel has opened its 11th embassy in Africa, opening an embassy in Kigali in Rwanda. Netanyahu commented on the opening of the embassy, saying that a Rwanda is a true friend of Israel and is a mainstay of Israel's long-standing relationship with the African continent. Now, the people of Rwanda and the Jewish people sadly share a history of genocide and uh, there have been extraordinary bonds built between Rwandans and Jews who have learned from the, or, or try to help each other deal with each other's genocides, the importance of education and the importance of remembering. So this is quite a significant um, boost for relations between the two countries. Now, don't forget, you can check out Lay of the Land uh, online at our website, www.layoftheland.online. And tonight, you can read all about Dave Kaplan's visit to the South. Uh, uh, He went with the Copping family as they dedicated some clubhouses for IDF soldiers and uh, his account of seeing for himself the situation with incendiary balloons and kites that were burning fields in Gaza. You can also join our growing Facebook community by liking us or following us on Facebook at Lottel Site. And of course, don't forget, you can get your daily news broadcasts by subscribing on the button below. So I'm Raleen Marks for the Israel Brief, and we'll chat again tomorrow.